Hello friends, welcome to MS Optive Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to install an Enterprise Certificate Authority in Windows Server 2012 R2. So a lot of things change in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 on the PKI model compared to the earlier version of Windows Servers. We have a version 4 certificates now, better security on the certificate serve authorities role service. You can install the Active Directory Certificate Service role service on server core and many more features are there. The installation is straightforward and you can install the Active Directory Certificate Service role on a domain controller if you are running on a small network but a separate server is always recommended in a production environment. So for this demonstration I am using this uh, server and on that server already I installed Active Directory Domain Service as well as the DNS server is up and running. So just open the server manager on a dashboard, click on add rules and features on a before you begin page, click on next to continue on select the installation type. Select role based or feature based installation then click on next and on a select destination server, select the, your local server. In my case it is a sorry icon, this is 01.mylab.local that is our local server. Click on next and on a select server role, select active directory certificate service. Uh, add features that are required for Active Directory Certificate Service. Click on Add Features and click on Next. And on a Select Feature, click on Next. And here's the brief information about the Active Directory Certificate Service. Click on Next. And on Select Role Service, select Certificate Authority as well as Certification Authority Web Enrollment. And it will ask, it uh, will require to add a Web Service Server Role. And uh, click on Add Features to add that features also. Then click on next on web server rule IIS. Just click on next. It is the brief overview information. Click on next. And on confirm installation selection, click on uh, install to start the installation process. After installation completes in the installation progress interface, click on uh, configure Active Directory Certificate Service on the destination server. So next in the credential interface verify that your credential is administrator and then click on next continue. Select role service to configure, select certification authority and certification authority web enrollment. Then click on next. In the setup type interface uh, verify that enterprise CA is selected then click on next to continue. And specify the type of CA, select root CA, click on next. And uh, next in the private key interface, click create a new private key, click on next. In the cryptography for certification uh, authority interface, you can remain to the uh, default settings which is uh, RSA cryptography with 2048 key length and uh, verify the SH1 is selected and click on next to continue. Next in uh, specify the CA name, just specify these uh, certificate authorities name. In my case, I am going to specify mylab-ca, that is the name for my certificate authority. Click on next. In the validity period, default should be 5 years, but uh, your selection depends on your organization security policy requirement. I will leave it to default and then click on next. In the certificate authority database, just click on next to proceed. And next in a confirmation, click on configure. So finally, our certificate authority and certificate authority web enrollment successfully installed on this server. Click on close to close all these consoles and click on tools. Select certificate authority. Here we go. And now we have a MyLab CA. Revoke certificates issue. So, so there is a no issue certificate on this server. And here's the all the templates are there. And coming back to the server manager. Click on tools and open internet information service manager. Insert the console, expand your server. Expand sites. Expand default websites and here we have a sort SRB. So that is the uh, certificate authority web enrollment and click on browse. And here we go. So that is the our uh, Active Directory Certificate Service uh, web enrollment console is there. You can just click on request a certificate and then there is a user certificate and advanced certificate request is there. We can also use MMC to request a new certificate and under that just click on files 
and click on uh, add removes and snappings and then we have a certificate templates we have a certificate authority console but you want to go with certificate click on adds and which type of certificate you want to manage so user account service account or computer account so let's select computer account click on next for local computer click on finish and click on ok so here our uh, certificates and this is the default certificate which is uh, enrolled to the local computer that is uh, issued to our uh, domain controller and under certificate authority console if we uh, click on issue certificate and click on refresh here's the other certificate that is issued to our domain controller so we can also uh, create a request from here just right click on it and select all task request new certificate click on next and here's the default active directory poly enrollment policy click on next and here is the the certificates so we can select the certificate and then uh, we can click on enroll to enroll the certificate and uh, we can also do the, all these stuffs for uh, user certificate so again click on certificate click on add and this time we are going to select user account so click on finish and under user like we have a administrator certificate that is issued by the administrator that is the self sign certificate and we can just select all tasks request a new certificate click on next click on next and here select the default administrator's user certificate you can also select for basic efs or efs data recovery agent but we need to go with administrator click on enroll click on finish and here's the certificate uh, which is issued by the our local certificate authority and under certificate certificate authority management console just refresh here's the request id number three uh, request a name is mylab slash administrator and the certificate template is administrator certificate templates so this is the way how we can uh, install the certificate authority on windows server 2012 r2 and uh, we can also use uh, certificate authority web enrollment to request the certificates so that's it for this video demonstrations thanks for watching this video